and reading this book. Disappointment with God by Philip Yancey. Philip Yancey is a writer that I like very much. I enjoy his, his writing. I learn from him. And I was drawn to this title, Disappointment with God, because I must say, to a certain extent, I too have felt a disappointment with God. For four years now, I don't know whether it's exactly four years, for nearly four years I have not worked, I have not taught, I stayed away from from my profession when I lost my my last job. Um, I thought that God was calling me to do His work and I slowly started to to do His work and in the last year or so that endeavor has intensified. I have started to speak. I don't want to use the word preach because I don't like that word very much. I always thought I would not do that sort of thing and I never really thought I would do it on YouTube but I have done it and this is one of the many speeches I have given on YouTube. Why do I speak? What is the purpose of my speech if not to convey my faith? I intend to convey my faith. I intend to tell people that I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, and I want them to believe like me, if it is possible. So, I would like to share God with people. So it is, it is a mission, and I am a missionary. Though I don't travel physically, my voice travels. And I am a missionary for Christ. I am a servant of Christ. And I said earlier, this is something I have been doing for four years. And I thought something would, would materialize. I thought financially something would come out of all this work. But nothing has come so far. And that makes me wonder whether God really wants me to do this. Or should I go back and do the things I used to do before? I can always do God's work on the side. Or I can do both. I can, I can work in the world, teach English, the subject that I used to teach before, train people to speak English and I can also preach, I can also do what I, whatever I'm doing right now. It is definitely possible, but I have resisted the urge to do that. I have resisted, you know, the great um, need for that. At the moment there is a great need for that. I need to do something quickly. And I've been saying to myself and I've been telling my people that God would um, reward me. God would give me something. I read somewhere in the Bible that the people who preach the gospel should also make a living out of it, you see. 
And uh, if that is true, then I should make a living out of it. I have not asked people to help me so far. It is something that I have uh, resisted doing because I have a problem doing it. But I don't know how this mission, this mission of mine, can go on without any aid, without any help from others. There is only one way that I know now. I should probably go back to the world and start teaching. That is what I used to do, and um, I must also do this. I must also serve Christ. It, it won't be very easy because I won't have the time to read and reflect on God as much as um, as much as I can do right now. But if that is what God wants me to do, I'll go ahead and do it. So today I am very much, very much reflecting on my past and um, and I can say yes, I am to a certain extent disappointed with God because He has not um, answered my prayer the way I wanted Him to answer it. He has not um, um, He has not led me where I wanted to be led. But I also know that God has a will of His own, and God is good all the time, and that I should be patient. And one of the most important qualities of a man of God is patience. And I must show patience. And especially at this time, when things get difficult, when the going gets difficult, I must show patience in God. I must show faith and patience. I must believe that God will eventually do something. Maybe he won't do what I what I want him to do, but he will definitely do something that would um, release me from this struggle. It has been a struggle for four years. I want my ministry to go on. I want to be engaged in this full time. I don't want to be engaged in it part time because I know what happens when when work of this nature is done part time, it cannot develop as as it ought to develop. So today I ask God to give me direction and to strengthen me because yes, I am to a certain extent disappointed with my spiritual life, I am um, disappointed with God. But I will not allow this disappointment to sweep over me. I will not allow it to take control of me. But the truth must be admitted. My life hasn't gone according to my plan, at least. Hopefully it is going according to God's plan.